Keep it on cool. All right, it's review time, baby. What do we got today? Actually, I, I found this at a camp that I went to for a recent filming location, but I'm sure you can find it in other places because the brand is Hunter's Reserve Roadkill. Kill, baby. All right, Hunter's Reserve Roadkill. Hunter's Reserve is the brand name. This is basically a beef stick, something similar to a Slim Jim or what have you. It's just the Roadkill flavor. All right, we got gluten free, no MSG, no nitrates. What is that? I don't know. Smoked meat stick made with venison, elk, wild boar, pork, pheasant, and rabbit. So the nutrition facts for this beef stick, if you really care, 60 calories, 2.5 grams total fat, 25 milligrams of cholesterol, 250 milligrams of sodium, 8 grams of protein. All right, and ain't nothing to it but to do it. Let's open this bad boy up. Something tells me it's going to be hard to open. Oh, you just rip it open. Old roadkill there. All right, looks pretty much just like a regular looking beef stick. Oh, wow, look at that. It, it, I, I thought it was going to be really hard like a Slim Jim, but it's kind of soft the way it broke. All right, uh, roadkill, let's see what you got. All right, well, to be honest with you, it, it pretty much tastes like a regular beef stick. It's just a little softer. A soft meat stick. It's not bad. It's not great. There's nothing that really sticks out in about it, it's not even remotely spicy, which if I eat a Slim Jim or Jack's Links or whatever type of meat stick that I'm going for, I said meat stick. Yeah, I, I, I go for the spicy flavor. That's what me personally is what I'm looking for. And this is not spicy at all. I mean, it's just not, it's not the quality of a Slim Jim. Now I know a lot of people, oh, well, that's gonna be the, big corporation, whatever, I don't care. I'm going for taste. As far as taste, it's okay. It's nothing special. It's not gross at the same time. I could eat the rest of this. Uh, would I buy this one again? No, I wouldn't because there's better ones out there. But hey, it's got a cool name, Roadkill. That's why I bought it, so it caught my eye. It doesn't taste as bad as I thought it would. I honestly thought it would taste bad, but it's just kind of there. Well, that's it for today. Just remember, whatever you do in life, keep it hardcore.